A woman who was publicly called a failure twice is the reason 600,000 girls learned how to code. When Reshma was young and she'd visit schools for various campaigns, she would notice how there were barely any girls in the computer science classroom. She knew this was not a lack of interest. Tech just was never encouraged for girls that age. But Reshma had her own case study where her father was an engineer. So she saw firsthand how that changed his life. So she decided to do something about it. In 2012, with no coding background, she started Girls Who Code with just 20 girls in a borrowed conference room in New York. And let's just say, it wasn't easy. But like any great entrepreneur, that didn't stop her. She kept refining the program, rebuilding the curriculum, bringing in volunteers to teach, creating real projects that girls could work on, and focused on building confidence as much as the ability to code. And slowly, the results came. These girls who once weren't even in the classroom were now building apps, building websites, and creating tech that was actually used by companies. They were also choosing computer science at 15 times the national US average. And when companies saw this, they realized that Girls Who Code is not just a charity, but it's actually a talent pipeline for them. One by one, the school's partnerships and funding came in. Girls Who Code scaled across the US and eventually the globe until they have helped more than 600,000 girls learn to code. When we look at these stories, we see only the successes, 600,000. But to get there, it took Reshma decades. So if you have a friend who is struggling with their first startup idea, tell them about this and give them some motivation.